Is it the best linguine and clam in the world ever? I, I don't know, but let's find out. Let's get right into it. So here I have my mise en place. We're doing, I'm actually adding some bacon and guanciale. I have a little bacon here we diced up. I have some guanciale. We got some white verjou. If you don't have white wine, I like to use white verjou and white vinegar. Pecorino and parm, both from Italy. The Checo linguine we're gonna use today. Lemon, parsley, shaved garlic. I'm gonna process this lemon kind of how I would in a restaurant. So we save the zest, call that good. Believe it or not, I'm gonna supreme the lemon. Supreme is just a word for segment. So we took this, the outside off. You could save this if you're making like, I don't know, lemoncello, or I'm sure someone in the comments can tell us what to do with this. Just gonna come down and get rid of these segments. Like that. They don't need to be pretty because we're gonna chop them up anyway. Save the juice. Gonna do a really rough chop on these. There's the lemon supremes. We chopped them up. We got some lemon juice. I'm gonna do the bacon first. All right, now we're gonna go in with the guanciale. All right, that's what we're looking for. Look at that. Olive oil, garlic in. Black pepper, got a little bit of white pepper. We have some grains of paradise. So I might have verjou. Champagne vinegar. I don't think you're supposed to use acid with these pans. Can you cook with vinegar and carbon steel? Question mark. Where's I supposed to do that? Yep, I should know that by now. I like to use Aleppo pepper. So we're gonna go in with Aleppo, like that. The problem with this pan is. All right, so now we're on our ninth pan. We use about nine pans to try to figure this out. I pre-shucked the clams and I strained the clam juice through a coffee filter. Um, this is five pounds of clams. I'm gonna add some of that pasta water from the pot before I strain the pasta off and go right in. A little bit of clam juice. The question is, do I chop the clams up or keep them whole? Then what do you think? She wants them whole, we're gonna do them whole. Guanciale, I normally don't add this, but we're going for it today. A little bit of that bacon, already ate half of it. Lemon Supremes, we diced up. Lemon juice, lemon zest. Fresh parsley is a must, and I go heavy with the parsley. I gotta tell you, this all clad wok is dope. I got half parm, half pecorino in here. That's looking beautiful. Then we finish with our butter. I just dredged the butter in a little bit of flour. That's gonna help thicken this pasta up nicely. Let's take a photo for Instagram. I'm gonna finish that with that extra virgin finishing olive oil. A couple of things that are necessary with pasta like this, a spoon. I remember my grandfather actually used to make sure we had spoons. He used to show us how to, hey, you gotta spin the, oh, actually, let's just try it. I'll show you what he did. We get a little spin action going. I'm glad I added the guanciale. I'm glad I added the bacon. And I'm glad I did the supremes of the lemon. You, you definitely get this pop of citrus. It just balances so well. 